Rose, and today I'm going to show you how to make my vegetable parmesan. I have here already, I sliced them ahead of time. These are my ingredients. Eggplant, green peppers, and zucchini. I lather, I want to show you how I do them. Originally it was made, I would pan fry them. That's how my parents did it. But I found that it saw too much oil. So I came up with this idea of putting them on a baking sheet, putting bottom, I put oil on the bottom of the baking sheet, line up your vegetables, put a little bit of oil on the top, and put them in the oven at a 400 degree. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Just put oil on the bottom of your baking pan. Put your eggplant. If you have a large amount, you can do them on a larger baking sheet. I'm just gonna show you what I do. It seems a little complicated, but it really isn't. And when you finish with it, you're gonna say, I'm glad I made it, because it's so delicious. That's enough, I just want to show you how I do it. Just drizzle a little bit of oil on the top. With my hands, I do mix the peppers. Let them get coated like that. Very easy. Let me wash my hands now. Preheat your oven at 400, 400 degrees. And you cook them approximately 15 minutes. You can turn them, but sometimes I don't. I don't want them to get mushy. While those are cooking, I went ahead and I cooked my zucchini, my peppers, and my eggplant. I will show you now how I layer it. I also have here basil, sugar, and grated cheese. Sugar because the eggplant can be a little bitter. And I went ahead and made my marinara sauce. You start with your marinara sauce, putting a good layer, not overly, on the bottom. Then you will get, your first layer will be the eggplant. Now you will put just a little bit of sugar, not a lot, just to take that bitterness out. There. Now you will put more sauce. As you can see, I don't have it floating in it because you don't want it 
to get real mushy when you bake it. Now you will put your basil. Be, um, don't be afraid to use it because it gives it a good flavor. Generous amount of cheese. Now I will put my peppers. As you see, I'm using my hands because I find it easier. You don't have to put sugar on that layer. So just put your sauce. This is a beautiful dish for the summer because you have your summer vegetables, your zucchini, your peppers, and your eggplant. Each layer Put your basil. And a generous amount of cheese. Now I'm going to put my zucchini. I would put just a tiny bit of sugar on the zucchini. Sometimes they can have a tendency of being a little bitter. Add your sauce. If it's not all covered, don't worry about it. When you bake it, it'll go right over it. My family, if they know I'm making this, they'll be right here waiting to eat it. I'm going to end off with, on top, you always end off with your eggplant. As you notice, the skin is on. I don't peel it. Little bit of sugar. And your sauce. On the top layer, try to cover it with your sauce.
Doesn't that look good? It's getting ready to eat. I'm running out of basil, but I have some right here. cheese generously as I was cooking these vegetables in the oven I didn't add any salt or pepper that's why my marinara sauce is flavored and the cheese gives it that salty flavor and there it is it's all done I'm going to put it in my oven. We bake this at a 375 degree oven for 45 minutes. I think this one is done. I'm going to take it out and let it sit for 15 minutes. It has to settle. That way you can slice it into nice square pieces. This brings a smile to my face because I'm so proud when I see my finished product. It looks so good and you can see all the layers the eggplant, the peppers, and the zucchini. Now I will cut a piece and see how it tastes, but I'm sure it tastes delicious. I'm gonna take the zucchini, the peppers, and the eggplant. Mmm. Very good. You want some? If you like my recipe, vegetable parmesan, you can find it in my cookbook, Sunday at Nana's. It's available at sundayatnana's.com. Bye-bye now. to my vegetable parmesan. I'm, I'm all blah, blah, blah. If you like my recipe, vegetable parmesan, you can 